Hey, Izzy. Hey, what's up? Guess what we got today? <laughs> Evo reveals? We got purple. Purple Evo we reveals. We got all the purple cards from the collaboration booster. Which I'm honestly excited for. I've been staying away from a lot of the spoilers lately. Just, you know, see to do these reveals with mm -hmm. genuine authenticity. Yeah, interest. Because I've been hearing a lot about it, how good they've been. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what they what they do. I am too. And the the way that they revealed things this this reveal season has been great. Uh, ups actual ups to Bandai for the way that it's been revealed, keeping people Interest. excited and interested yeah. in showing things for the archetypes and things for like oh this works with this this works with, with it that, instead yeah. of just here's all the commons and uncommons and 12 <laughs> vanillas and in yeah. three weeks you can find some excitement yeah and <laughs> what i also like too is if you haven't seen the first reveal sort of kind of a reveal that we did oh, jacob, oh at bandai fest yeah jacob will probably post put up the up, up, up here up. if you haven't watched it watch yeah. it yeah. that was our teaser of the first reveals mm -hmm. we and i was already excited for those yeah um so i'm really excited to see yes. what they do now and now these are reveals from the collaboration booster not from the starter decks if mm -hmm. you want to look at the reveals from the starter decks i will link cosmic's video down below mm -hmm. Because he did reveals for the starter decks, um, and it was a really good video. Yeah. So y'all should watch that one if you want to see the starter deck reveals. But without further ado, let's get into this. Let's go. All right. So our first one is Evangelion Mark 7. It's a gold nerve, three cost, two reduction, and it draws a card when it's destroyed by anybody. <sighs> for any means, as long as it's not stripped of all of its cores. This is going to be a good card. Yeah, and it's going to be a great card because um, it brings back purple's draw engine. Mm-hmm. And that's something to do it. Yeah, you're gonna probably play four of it, but I mean, hey, what's I mean, more draw? I mean, it's Evangelion Aglavale. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't require the soul core, so your soul core can be on something that has AT field. Right. Good card. Our next one is going to be Eva One Dialogue with Father. It's you know four cost two reduction. It's got AT field, and then it draws, draws a, card. a card. If you have a shit. If you control a Shinji Nexus. Yeah, I got a Shinji Nexus. It and attacks. You draw a card, baby. You got two. Now you have two ways to draw. Yeah, really good. So. Great. Oh, the, the draw engine in, in I think, it's specifically Evo 1 is really good. Yeah. Um, the, They've actually made the draw engine for most. I'm not sure how blue is, but most, like the Willy deck, the Evo 1, and the Evo, um, what's the other one? Evo 03? Evo 03, I oh, think. Evo 03, like the the... The, the both the purples the the woolly deck and everything like the draw engines are good and like, I, good. I love i love how you can put this in a generic purple deck oh yeah and you put a shinji nexus in there because it will uh, i'm hoping it, it will synergize with just generic purple yes yeah. in general yeah good card very happy about it next one is if you want to do this one oh yeah it's opt for type eva and this is a win summoned or destroyed if you control a gendo nexus you draw a card again. Yeah. So it's like you now you're starting to see a lot of the draws happening. Yes. Here. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to bring it out on the field. I'm a draw. It's going to die. I'm a draw. It costs two. It's a five cost with three reduction. Mm. Its stats don't matter. And, and it's, it's to simplify. You can play Shinji Nexuses and the Gendo Nexus in purple to get those draw effects from both. Exactly. So and this like, works the same with um the same with the last one we, with the uh, Mark seven. You can deadly balance this and draw a card. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty dang good. I'm happy about it. Then we've got Evangelion Mark 9. It's got Immortal 7, which is pretty useful for some of our boss monsters and stuff in the, in the, mm -hmm. you know, in the nerve deck. And I mean, it's, uh, what's the dude? Boars, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't remember the first part of his name, but like something Boars that's Immortal Cost 7. It's mm -hmm. a Nightling. This is the same thing, only it has a better stat, better distribution of the stats. Yeah. One, and, two, four. That's pretty good, yeah, too. And it works with, you know, the it's Golem, it's a Mark Nine, it's a Nerve. It's a Golem and a Nerve, so... Yeah, you just put four cards on it, and it's out of range of a, of a Tiger. Yeah, and it's, I mean... It's, it's, it's good. Yeah. Our next one? It's Tentative Name Ray Ayanami. Yeah. Um, during your attack step... 
you, your Mark 9 and 1st Adam Vessel Spirit cannot be blocked by your opponent's spirits with two or fewer cores on it. And then during your attack step at level 2, if you could flash this effect, you may destroy this Nexus to draw a card. If one of your spirits has been destroyed this turn, draw two cards instead. More of that generic draw engine. I, yep. I'm, we're looking in that nerve deck. Mm -hmm. um, with just this, you draw two. Yeah, you, you draw two plus... You could deadly balance your own spirit to draw two. Um, yeah, you deadly balance your spirit, and then, like the, the last one, you, you deadly balance it, uh, you draw a card, and then you flash step with this one, draw two cards, plus the fact that you have, there's so much core stripping that we'll see soon, that you can strip everything down to two cores and they can't block your stuff. Yeah. Your, your Mark 9 and your first Yeah, Yeah, it, it's, it's really good that, 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 just the first effect alone, mm -hmm. given that guard restriction... To your opponent, that's strong. Yeah, it's very, very, very nice. Well, first I, effect. The three cores on it for that second ability kind of sucks. I two cores would be better, but we that's what we say about every Nexus with their three core requirement. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, frozen waterfall. Yeah. Next one is Shinji Ikari Infinite Sync Rate. And this is probably one of my favorite Nexuses. It's when you're one of your Eva One Spirits is summoned, you place it from your hand or your trash without paying its cost if you don't control another one. So turn one, play an Eva One, play Shinji Ikari Infinite Sync Rate, boom, you've got it out. And then at level two, uh, during Flash, once per turn, discard a Golem to select one of your opponent's spirits, remove two cores from it, and place it into their reserve. Guess what? A lot of your Eva 1 spirits are. They're all golems. Yeah. So you discard a spirit, and guess what happens later on? I think it's in this deck, in the Eva 1 deck. You want your golem spirits, your Eva 1s, in the trash to yeah. gain effects. So this is just free. It, it comes out for free no matter what, because it comes from the trash too. Yeah. So when you if you like mill yourself or get milled, it's in the trash. You play an Eva 1. It comes out, and then core removal, like just for a discard. Yeah. A two core removal for a discard. Remember when we were talking in set, was in set four or something like that? There was something that had you discard a card to remove cores. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Or, yeah. Or was it this card itself? I don't know, but it, removing two cores for a discard is pretty good. Uh, and what I'm noticing now that we saw this, the second ever Nexus, I'm wondering if we're going to see a lot of the other Nexuses in, in the set. Required just three cores to put it on there. Yep. And I, I, I mean, yeah, it's whatever. But like, I mean, I would like, like I said, I would look, like you said, I would love to see two cores on them. Yeah. I mean, you put like the the thing about it is like for this one, I think I'm okay with it because you put three cores on it, you flash, discard a golem to remove two cores, and then you use the cores. Yeah. The off payoff, of it. the payoff is a much yeah, stronger. Yeah. Then you use the cores the, off of it discard. to play another spell. Yeah. Or you wait in your opponent's turn, you can discard another card. Yeah, remove the, the, two cores. Then you can use the there, cores. There's off a, of it there, or th this payoff is I I agree is mm -hmm. a, is a lot better than the first net yeah. we saw, and you, either one I I love too. Mm -hmm. So, and our next one we've got nerve. nerve. Uh, when placed, select a nerve spirit card in your trash and return it to your hand. And at level two during your attack step, when one of your nerve spirits is destroyed, select one of your opponent's spirits and remove a core from it. And place it into the reserve. That is pretty strong. I mean, guess what's your whole deck? Nerve. nerve. Yeah, I mean, it comes down, gets you a nerve spirit back from your trash, which is fine because it replaces itself. Yeah. And then it's kind of rotting swamp effect during your attack step. You just you you swing, 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 get your stuff destroyed, start stripping mm, cores, right. which can help you get back to the what was it the 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 gendo nexus yeah. or that makes it to where that they can no longer start blocking your stuff right like your first atoms and your mark nine right 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 and, and and this is our first nexus that has two cores yeah so i can see a good payoff with this as well because you like you it's removing a core from yeah from your and opponent. at the very at the very worst it replaces itself when you place yeah. it so yeah our next one is gendo ikari himself He's Gendo and a Nerve Nexus, level 1 and 2 during your main step. When you summon or place a Nerve card, treat, treat this Nexus's color and symbol as blue as well. And then level 2 for one core during either attack step. When one of your Nerve Spirits is destroyed, view the top card of your deck, return to the top of your deck, or discard it. So it's Amethyst Sanctuary. Yeah. For yeah. Nerve stuff. Like, and it's for one core. Yeah. Uh, it's good. And there are some, for the Gendo stuff and Nerve stuff, there are quite a few Spirits that have one or two blue reduction 
So this on its own can help you count for that blue reduction. Right. So right. I, I like it. Yeah. The yeah. payoff the payoff is good on this one. Yep. Too. Good one. Uh what's good morning? So it's burst effect and you lose a life. Discard three cards from the top of your deck to place a core from your reserve into your life. You may then pay this card's cost to activate its main effect. Select one nerve spirit or Shinji or Gendo Nexus card from your trash and return it to your hand. Hey baby, we got we, we got life gain. We we got life gain in, the, in this deck. Yeah, we got life. Well, it, your life comes back. Yeah, your like, life comes back. Like it's like you have you never lost it, and you ramp it basically. Yeah, yeah. No, you 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 get it back. You you mill three, get your life back, and then get something from your trash, return it to your hand. Also, it's a six cost with four reduction, which is bad. To, I was about, I was about but to say that. Also, you mill three more cards. Yeah. Which you this is the the self mill strategy in this is what we wanted to see like in set two and everything like that. This is when you, when we get to some cards in the future, you'll see that this self milling stuff is actually going yeah. to have a huge payoff. And, 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 and what's crazy, uh, like like you said, like maybe in set five we could probably see a lot of self milling decks in mm -hmm. purple because in Japan they do that. Their purple does self mill, mm -hmm. so it's like it's it's seeable. Yeah, but. Overall, just mill three, get your life back is huge. Yeah, 100%. You just got to watch it out for blue. Yeah. All right. Our next one, our next magic is deploy AT field. It's a four cost two reduction. It's another burst. Thank you. We're getting good new bursts. When your opponent resolves a win summon effect, select one of your spirits. During this turn, it can't be destroyed by destruction effects on your opponent's spirits. Then you can activate its flash effect to select spirit. It gains 3000 BP during this turn. It's basically gives AT field to one of your spirits. Yeah. Which you may think that that's not the best, like the spirits that, w that you want to have AT field had AT field, but we have some really powerful boss monsters that don't have, have AT, AT field, field, which is flavor wise smart, mm -hmm. which, because it makes sense based on how it is in the anime at yeah, that point. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you get them out, you do their thing on your opponent's turn, they resolve a win summon, you give that spirit AT, AT field, field, and then on your next turn, you do some massively yes. crazy stuff. That, so, it's it's going to be strong. Yeah, it's going to be strong for the deck. Good thing. And then the main flash effect doesn't matter. It's that burst that actually really matters on this one. Yeah. But also, 3k for 2 isn't bad. It's better than 2k. Yeah, yeah. It's way better, better than, than 2K. 2k. So, our next one is I'm Shinji Ikari, pilot of Evangelion Unit 01. So main effect is select one of your spirits, opponent oppo spirits. opponent spirits, remove a soul core from it and place it into the reserve. Then, if you control a Shinji Nexus, you may select an Evil O One card from your trash and summon it. And in main flash, select a spirit. It gains two K BP. Yeah, we, we don't care about this. We don't care about that. We care, we care about, about this because remove a soul core. Oh, screw, you ain't got AT field, field no more. Screw, screw your AT field. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and it's the simple fact that you can grab an evil one, oh, one spirit card from your chest and just summon it. Yeah, you summon one. You ha still have to pay for its you, cost. You still have to pay for the cost. But you play this magic for two, rip the soul core off of the thing that they want us that they want to protect. Play an Eva O one from your trash. That's going to probably find a way to kill that spirit. Or, you know, and at, it, and if it least. has AT field. You put the soul core on it. Yes, sir. No, not a bad card. And I love, I'm loving the reduction. Like this goes down to at least two. two. Like it makes it feel so much better. A lot of the cards that have really good reductions lately. Like we've won. Like, ugh, oh, oh, all right. God. We've won. Flash. Select one of your opponent's spirits as blocking one of your nerve spirits and destroy it. If you have 10 or more cards in your trash, hmm, nerve, nerve, wanting to have cards in your trash, mm -hmm. remove all of its cords and place them into their trash instead. So... If that spirit has a wind destroyed effect, it no longer goes off because it's been ripped of all its cores. And if that spirit has five or six cores on it, now they're in the trash. Because when you destroy a spirit, their cores go to the reserve. Yeah. You just ripped five cores to their trash. Yeah. You just core thefted them for four or five with one card. And it begs to differ, like... It, it it's it's a good card. It's an amazing it's, card. This is such a good flashback. It's a it's a it's a better what core theft. It's much better. Like 
It is in the vein of core theft. Now, core theft you can use in main as well. Yeah. And you can use core theft before they block. So the thing with this is you're not going to get damage with the spirit that you're attacking. Yeah, right, right, right. Because, right. you know, they have to block your spirit. But, like, you're ripping cores into their trash for one card. Yeah. You're stopping their wind destroyed effects. Um, if it has, if that card is another card with AT field, you've, you've ripped their soul core into trash mm. because AT field doesn't, doesn't protect from being, re from cores removal. It protects from destruction effects. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And now you put them onto a really bad spot because again, they've lost six cores to be able, and they've lost reduction on that spirit to be able to defend if they want to flip an ice shield. Maybe now they don't have the cores to pay for and that. If ice it's shield. a spirit that they want to protect. Exactly. They're screwed. Yep. You might as well put heavily put yes. all your cores onto that spirit if you don't want it. Yeah. This is an amazing magic card to to really, really mess That's up your crazy. opponent's late game. All right. Our next one. It's, this is it's a vanilla. It's a vanilla. Evangelion 13 arm unit. Um 1k. It's it's for the reduction. Yeah, no, it comes out for free. Uh, that's really what you care about. Yeah. It comes out for free, and you put it down, it's you put a core on it. It's over your it on. It's a uh, rain needle. It, the the stats are weaker. I can but, like, see. I can see it being another over your on situation. You know, but again, like it's reduction. Yeah, it's and reduction. Then, you know, it's free reduction. You rip the core off of it to summon something else. That's that's really all we need. Plus, it's a plus it's a golem and a nerve. Whatever. Put it in trash. Who cares? Yeah, it's a nerve spirit in trash. All right. Our next one is Eva One Left Arm Restored. It has a T field. Just, I mean, simple. Hey. Simple, simple side They done. can't all be crazy. Yeah. But it's got AT field with a decent stat, stat line. line. I was going to say, the stat line is, 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 pre is pretty decent. No, it's a 5-3. Like, yeah. it's a 5-3 reduction. It's not I bad. Mean, it's not exciting, but, you know, it's not bad. And then we got EVA 01 World of Memories. Another one with AT field. Pretty decent stat line. Uh, uh, honestly, pretty good stat line. I mean, it's a 3 drop 3 reduction. Yeah. So. It, it comes out for free. And mm -hmm. you just slap four cores on that thing, and it's at 5k. Yeah, or it's not two cores for 4k, which yeah. is not bad. Like, yeah. Can't be too mad about this one. Better than a straight vanilla. Yeah. You know, better than a four drop vanilla. <laughs> Next is Evangelion Mark 4A. Uh, two drop, one reduction. It has AT field, and then for three cores, when it attacks, select one of your opponent's spirits, place one soul core from it into the reserve. Again. Remove their AT field. Again, yeah, just removing the AT field. We're seeing a lot of, of it. And I hope we see more of it because with like, other cards. In conjunction with Deadly Balance. Like if that's the only spirit on their field and they're trying to protect to it. Protect it. Okay, swing, rip that soul core, deadly balance. Yeah. We're good to go. We're good to go. And then even getting Mark 04B. It has AT field and then while it attacks, it has curse. A crazy that we have curse in the Eva set. Yeah. I never expected Curse. I thought Curse wasn't just wasn't going to be in the Eva set. Now this is a three cost two reduction. Curse for three at four K, and like this is basically what I would compare to like Dragon Aga Assassin because right. it's a three cost one reduction four K three cores. Put the Soul Core on it. Curse. Draw a card. This one, except has AT field. field, but either way, it's a golem. It's a nerve. It does. It has the 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 types that you want. Yeah. Is this one going to be played? I'm not sure because the problem with the problem with it having curse is I do believe AT field blocks curse because curse is a destruction effect. Mm. Unless because it says you know AT field says that this spirit has a soul core on it, it cannot be destroyed by the destruction effects of your opponent's spirits. That's just in general. It's yeah. not just during the attack step or, you know, until the end of battle. Yeah. Curse will not kill spirits with AT oh, no, field, no. which means this card, you'll probably find something better than this card to play. Unfortunately, I don't think this will be played. Curse just isn't good enough for... I mean, and, you know, and, and like we've been seeing, there are cards that can remove the soul core that that can remove yeah, the AT remo field. That's true. Yeah, where, you this can, can, where this can go through. Exactly. You but are, like you said, will this he play... Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. But the thing about what I am liking about AT Field itself as a as a skill is now if you're playing a, if you're playing an Eva deck or you have an Eva cards in your deck, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not playing necessarily playing a full Eva deck, but you're playing a deck that runs normal cards plus some Eva cards. Mm -hmm. 
Like, you can't just be, you know, curse. You can't just be cursed out by purple. Right. Because right. Right. you can just block with something right. and the curse won't and, kill it. And what I also like about uh, AT Field, there are going to be, I think there are certain cards that we will see here in these reveals that I, I believe I heard that it doesn't just, AT Field doesn't give your spirit at level one. There are certain spirits, I think, that will just be as settled at level two. I think we'll have to see. I can't remember, but I know. If it I, does, that'd be. As far as I know, I think AT Field is always starting at level, at level one. one. Okay. Um, but but I, I'm just saying, like, it's good that it's not a generic effect like Elephant. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yes, it has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be at a mm -hmm. level. Yeah, it's a level it, requirement. It's because a level it has requirement. to have the Soul Core on it. Yeah. Um, but again, like, I think AT Field is going to be monumental in how the meta changes, especially because, when, like I said, you can't just curse, you, you can't just, uh, curse, cheat your opponent to death because AT Field stops curse. When this set comes out. So purple isn't just going to be curse, serpent, or abortion. You know I believe, I mean? when, yeah. 100%. I think when this set comes out, I'm going to we're going to see a lot of Eva decks. Mm -hmm. From what I'm hearing, the boss cards are nuts. Boss cards are pretty nuts. Uh, and and if it if it's right, then that means Hydra is probably going to get countered a lot. Possibly because like think about it, like even a 3 drop with AT field, like they can't flood stream it. They can't raging tide it. They can't and use they, Hydra's effect. They can you they still force you to to select a spirit, but yeah. you select a spirit with AT field, mill three, it's not dead. Yeah. Oh, thanks for milling cards into my graveyard. Now I'm going to now I'm gonna get benefits <laughs> out of it. Like... <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. We've got Evangelion Mark 04C. Five cost, three reduction. When summon suck one of your opponent's spirits, remove all but one core from it and place it into the reserve. And that has AT field. This isn't bad. You remove all but one core, so you, you can strip that last core away later, or you literally just de-level it all the way down to level one at mm -hmm. the very at the very least. Like it's yeah. just it's like Mordred, that wind summon is like Mordred, but it's just like, okay, you you go down to one core. Yeah. Yeah. So not bad. Yeah. And then we have Eva 13 double entry with a seven cost with a uh three reduction, one of them being blue. One of them being blue. Um and then at level one, two, and three, it does spirit when the spirit attacks, select one of your opponent's spirits, remove a core from it, and place it into the reserve. If you control a Shinji Nexus, remove two cores from, from the selected spirit and place them into the reserve instead. Um, while this spirit attacks at level two or three, if you control a Kawaru Nexus, draw a card when one of your effects destroys one of your opponent's spirits. That's not bad. Like it's not bad. So this wants you to put Shinji and Kawaru together, yep. right? Um, now it has two separate when the spirit attacks effects. You're going to remove two cores from it or one, but two. If you kill it with that effect, you draw a card. Then you have more effects from your magics to rip cores um, or just more destroy cores. things like doubly deadly or deadly balance or any of the, the magics that we've seen to kill something. And you draw more cards. Like that that is crazy. Yeah, it's not bad. And the stat lines is pretty good. Yeah, it's got a decent stat line. Um and you know, one three six mm. is six is a little high, but still it it's a good card. Like six it, kick gives it out of uh the range yeah. for, for Tiger. Yeah, it, it's just removal plus draw all in one body. So Oh yeah. Our next one is Evil One Awakening, a six cost three reduction. It has ascend, it's a two symbol spirit. You ascend off of an Evil One. And it's not just a six cost, three reduction, a send vanilla. No, it's not. We're healing. We're healing, Izzy. Okay, it has AT field, and then at level two and three, when it attacks, select one of your opponent's spirits, remove a core from it, and place it into their reserve. Now, that's small. That's not, it doesn't remove a lot, but one core can be big. One yeah. core can, again, level something down. And and I'm glad that they're given a set, the, this collapse set, Ascend Spirits, effects. Because the vanilla Ascent Spirits were very, 
it's a bar. just it having a T field is decent enough, but having that one core strip can make or break it. Will this card see play as an ascend over some of the other cards? We'll have to see. Yeah. And every time I say we will have to see, I'm either right or I'm wrong. It's a 50 50. I'm great at this. I, I and I, I said these in a lot of the review videos. I love to be proved wrong. Yeah, but yeah, at the very least, it's a two core. It's a two simple. It deals two damage. Cannot be destroyed by destruction effects. Rips a core when it attacks. Right. Like is better than what we got for six cost ascend spirits. Eva O one accomplishing a miracle at four cost with four reduction. Four reduction. Two purple, one red, one yellow. A T field. And then at level two and three, during your attack steps, at the start of the step, if you control a Shinji Nexus, you select one of your opponent's spirits, remove all but one core from it, and place it into the reserve. Oh, wow. So you have this card out, right? Start your attack step, remove all but one core from an opponent's spirit, and then your Ascend Spirit attacks, removes that last core from it. Yes. Oh, baby. Look. Look, we have we have Synergy. We have, we have so decent, much synergy. and this can come out for free if you've got purple, red, yellow. But also, I think the main thing here is we have red, yellow reduction in the Willy decks, right? Yeah. So this can still be a two drop. I think there's a, from what I heard, there's a yellow card with zero cost that can count as red, red purple, purple, and, and blue. blue. Yeah. But you have to, you have to announce what your color, yeah, what its for, color right? is. But still, like you turn it into a red, this costs one. Yeah, like you have two of them. You you now it costs zero. Yeah. Like, and, but even even then, would it count? Because since it's a yellow card, would it count itself as a yellow card too? Um, since it's like how Smagwort, since it has one symbol, it still only gives one reduction. Okay, so you choose the color it reduces. Okay, okay, I had to make sure. Yeah, about you that choose one. the color that it reduces by. All right, our next one is First Adam's Vessel. It's a six cost three reduction. It's a Golem First Adam's Vessel and a Nerve, so it works with. The card that we saw earlier, y'all saw it, mm -hmm. we saw it. Mm -hmm. All right, when destroyed by opponent, no, not tied to a level. You may discard a card from the top of your deck to return this card to your hand. So it just doesn't die. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a free body. Mm -hmm. It's a free It's, it, a, free it's a free body that can be, uh, that it's a free blo blocker, but it's a first atom. So it's a free body that can swing unblockable. Yeah. In the right deck. Yeah. That always comes back by milling a card. That's insane. By milling a card. Yeah, by milling a card. <laughs> All right, our next one. We're getting into the good stuff. Oh, my gosh. Our first rare that we see here is EVA 01 Pseudo Evolution Second Phase. Eight cost with three reduction on it. It's an ascend to an EVA 01. When summoned at level 1, 2, or 3, you may return one of your Shinji Nexus to the, to the bottom of your deck and destroy all other spirits. Oh my what, god! What was that again, Izzy? You may return one oh of god. your Shinji. I heard what I said to the bottom of your deck to destroy all I heard other what spirits. I said. Bought deck a Shinji Nexus to board wipe. Trade offer. I give you one Shinji Nexus to the bottom. You give me a board wipe, and it has a T field. Take two to the face, please. So they'll they'll only have one card left on field. Yeah, because no, it's got ATV, yeah, and then you'll have all your 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 cores that you had on your spirits, uh -huh. and you could be able to summon another thing. I hate, I hate, <laughs> I also, love it. And I hate you it. pair this by with with something that strips the soul core from their spirit. Well, then, like like we said, there's cards that can get rid of the soul core. Yeah, but still, yeah, you rip the soul core from one of their spirits and it, and it, from it, their it, spirit with with their from their AT field yeah, spirit with the soul yeah. core. Rip it, rip the soul core, and then destroy and, and, their and, everything. And anything, and, and if anything. Only one card could have the soul core on exactly. it anyway, so it, it's still it's still gonna board and look wipe at that anything. Stat line like one three six for six nine twelve, not that's, bad. That's Two not bad. damage, like come that's on now, bad. come on now. All right, our next one is Eva One Spear of Gaius. Eight cost four reduction, all purple golem. Even Eva One, it's got AT field. It's got a five six eleven stat line, not the greatest, but when it attacks, select one of your opponent's exhausted spirits and destroy it. So it is assassinate on a body. Um, and then at level two and three, when it attacks, if you control a Shinji Nexus and you have two or fewer life, place a core from your trash as not a soul core into your life. Hey, That's I gain pretty a life. dang good. All right. Destroy that. I gain a life. And we have a burst that sets our life back. Uh huh. This is a good card. This is an amazing card. It's just one of the rares. We, we, we haven't got to the extra result. We've got 
four extras right up here. So we got a rare and probably another rare. Yeah, uh, it's insane already. These man. Cards and the, that look at that art, man. That's sick. <laughs> I can't wait for the alt art. <laughs> All right, our next one. Eva thirteen World of Memories, another rare. When summoned, if you have a if you control a Gendo Nexus, select one of your opponent's spirits, remove a core from it, and place it into the reserve. Okay. And at level two or three. When the spirit attacks, you may discard the top two cards of your deck to draw a card. If it if a nerve card is among the discarded cards, you draw a card anyway. You draw a card because you probably get rid of a nerve card. And you'll, you mill. You'll, you'll you'll more you'll more than likely mill and you a start nerve milling. card. Yeah, yeah. Overall, just decent. Overall, it it gets you to your game plan. And, and, and it begs to differ. They should have. They could have. What they could have done gave effect to some of the evil ones, to one some of the vanilla ones saying if, if you if you mailed this card, you get benefits. <laughs> like <laughs> missed opportunity uh, there. But yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. But maybe it would have been just a little too strong. We'll have to see. All right, we're into the X rares, and our first one is Evil One Spear of Cassius. It's got AT field, of course. It's got a decent stat line for one three five. Level 2 and 3, when it attacks, you may discard a spirit card to select one of your opponent's spirits. Remove two cores from it and place them into their reserve. And then at level 3, during either attack step, refresh the spirit when an evil one spirit card is discarded from your hand. <laughs> How many times would you like to attack? Yes. 100%. Can you answer this? No, you're no, dead. No, you're dead. You're dead. I mean, I might have an ice shield, but that's not going to stop me for the next turn. That That's insane. <laughs> that's insane. And the great thing about Battle Spirit Saga is it's a do as much as you can. So you discard a spirit. Oh, you have no spirits on the field? I'm going to discard this this evil one spirit card to select one of your one of your spirits. Oh, you don't have any? Oh, well, I'm going to refresh. I hate everything. And it has AT field. Has so AT field. you better have a Dream Bomb ready. Yeah. I will. That's pretty good. It's pretty Let's move on good. to the next extra. We got Longinus. Eva 13 Spear of Longinus. When summoned, it does not tie to an to a level. Mm -hmm. When summoning the spirit from your hand, you may use the symbols of any nerve card in your trash in addition to the symbols on your field to reduce its cost. So late game, this thing always comes down for four. Oh, yeah. And then at level two or three, when this spirit attacks, discard the top three cards of your deck. Select one of your opponent's spirits from each for each nerve card among the discarded cards. Remove one core from each of those spirits and place them into your opponent's trash. Trash. At level Maybe. three, mm -hmm. while this spirit attacks. Oh yeah. When the battle ends, mm -hmm. if you have 15 or more nerve cards in your trash... Oh, yeah? What does it do? Place a core from your opponent's life into their trash. Into their trash. So if they don't leave a core in their reserve, they just lost that that, that life. Because they, could, they, they, can't, they can't ice shield. Dog, this deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> oh, so all that discarding, all that self-milling came back to be rewarded? That's pretty dang good. Oh, you're losing cores to trash? You're losing life to trash? Oh, nice. That's great. I love and hate this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can have nothing else to say right, about it. Now we're getting into... It has pretty good stat yeah, lines. Yeah, it's got a decent stat line, too. Now, it comes down for four. You put six cores on it, and you can start just burning them for life. It's like Maduke all over again. Mm-hmm. Except you have, like, you definitely have more control you over have, it. You have more control now, over it. Now, it does not have a T-field. That is but, an important thing. It does not have AT you field. you can give it AT. You can give it AT field with the burst. With the burst. But at, your opponent at, has to resolve a win summon on your turn. Yeah. So, so they have to like Beldegor on depends, your turn. It depends on how the meta shifts mm -hmm. when the set drops. If they if people do start playing more win summon effects, which I think they will, um, then we can see it being used more. Yes, because so. I think the main the main thing about giving this AT field is you set your burst, you kill something on their field with like the, uh, you know, with one of their their effects. They summon a Beldegor from trash. Yeah. And then you burst the thing, give this AT field. 100%. 
But the fact that it doesn't have AT field makes sense lore wise and flavor wise, and is also but is also pretty good simply because this is a game in the and, 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 and yeah, it's yes. fair. It's fair. It's fair. All right, our next one we have Eva one and Eva thirteen. It's a ten cost six reduction. Hmm, who else has stat, has a has a cost of reduction like that? Feng Wong. Yeah. What is Feng Wong? Ten. No, no. What 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 spirit type is it? Oh, it's uh, it's a Void Lord. A Void Lord. Oh, it has Void Lord cost and reduction. And is this card good? Let's find out. It's a Golem Eva one and Eva thirteen. He's got the one four six stat line. That the Void Lords have. That, yeah. When summoned, you may discard four cards from the top of your deck to select one of your opponent's spirits, remove all cores from it, and place them into their reserve. Then at level two and three, when it attacks or blocks, discard a spirit card to draw two cards. And then at level three, this spirit gains one purple symbol for every ten golem spirit cards in your trash. Would you like to swing for four? No. I would. No. I'm going to. No. We're going to swing for four. No. Maybe five. No. Would you like to die in a single hit from full mm -hmm. life? Uh, I'd rather not. I would like to do it to you. I want to say things to you that I can't say on game. Can we play enough games? Can we record and play enough games to where I get this effect off and would kill you, you from full? Would you like me to deck to, you in the face? <laughs> that's fine. If we, get it on, if we get it on video that I hit you for five damage, sure, punch me. Punch me, baby. <laughs> this, this is what, like, this, this is a Void Lord. This is a Void Lord. That, yeah, that's... This bitch nasty. That's... But it doesn't have AT field. But you can give it AT field. You, you have to jump through hoops. But it by itself does not have AT field, which is good. Which is good. This bitch swings for like five, bro. <laughs> I mean, you're at the end of your deck if it's swinging for five. I mean, yeah, if it's swinging for five, you're at, I, I would assume you're but at the end of your deck. But this thing can easily swing for three or four. Uh, skippable avalanche sounds mighty tasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got the last one. This one's one of my favorites. I, yeah, the I, art I, on I this love, one is I love my the favorite. art on this yeah. one. Eva 13 pseudo evolution third phase estimated nine cost with three reductions, so it's going to come down for six, but it sends off an Eva 13. Only Eva 13. Only Eva 13s. And its stat lines is pretty good. Because 136 for 7, 10, 12. At level 1, 2, or 3. It, when the spirit attacks, if you control a third, if you have 13 or more nerve cards in your trash, place 5 cores from your trash onto this yeah, spirit. So you don't even need you 6 cores on it. No. You don't. It just, if you have 13 or more cards, which you will. Yeah. But you will. Yeah. And you, you pay, you pay six for it, put a core on it. You get five of them back. Literally it, the payoff, you, you, you net one. Yeah. And so, and then during your start step at the start of the step, remove all cores from all other spirits and nexus and place them into your owner's reserve. It's a board wipe. And it deals two damage. And it deals two damage. Have this out. It survives, which if they can't kill it, they're boned. They lose everything. Yeah. Yeah. You play Eva 1, Eva 13. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You swing for four. Mm -hmm. And they can't block it because they've got nothing on the field. Yes. Or you swing for this and deal the last two damage. And it, or you do both. <laughs> or you swing with, what is it, Longinus? And mm -hmm. just keep attacking? He's a purple player, by the way. I love purple. Like, it... And the thing is, <laughs> you played green for the mm -hmm. longest. This is the first time I've ever seen you this excited for purple. <laughs> In a while, yeah. In a while. Like, I like to... I, this... this is just going to be a good set, man. It's going to be a really good set. I'm excited to see what red has. The willy stuff? Yeah, because I played red... I was a red main mm -hmm. during set one. It's red green too. Yeah. Throw a couple low level rampers into it, yeah. like a straw or a math and goal. Yeah, like I'm excited for it because that makes me want to probably go back into red a bit. Yeah. I mean, so. I'm an everything but yellow player. So, but yeah, I haven't been this excited for purple since set three. Yeah. 
And I wasn't even that excited for purple in set three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I played the crap out of Velium in set three, so. Yeah. So, no, the, I'm really happy with this. The deck, over, this deck overall, I'm seeing it being a very strong candidate into the meta because of the boss cards that we have now. Mm-hmm. And it's the simple fact it doesn't have AT field, which you can give it AT, uh, AT field off the when summon ability burst. Yeah, it depends on like, well, like I can see, yeah. I can see the, the fact card that the fact that the burst that gives AT field is tied to an opponent's when summon effect, making it you have to if you want to do it, it's got to be some crazy which is fair get jumped through, which is so fair. it's like, no, you only give it, it. Yeah. And the main thing is it's meant to give you AT field on a spirit during their turn. So on their turn, like, you know, you summon this, uh, put five cores on attack with it. They don't kill it on their turn. They do a win summon. You give it a T field. They can't destroy it. Your turn comes back around. You wipe them. Yeah. Like it, 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 it's, it's fair. It's fair. I, I think, I think that's magic card is best fit into the side. Mm-hmm. Be, not in the main. Um, solely for the fact, cause it is a 50, 50. Mm-hmm. You have to see if they play a win summon. Yeah. Then go about it different way during game two. But at the same time, just having having the ability to like again, like I was saying, not having AT field is good. But also, if they cannot answer this card at all, they die. Yeah. Well, the, 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 it just well, goes it off. It should be like that. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so we're gonna see a lot of Eva thirteen decks and mm-hmm. a lot of Eva O one decks coming yep. into this meta because of the effects that they have. Yeah. And I, it's going to beg the question, are, we're, when we see the yellow reveals and when we see the blue reveals and the red reveals, is it going to be on par with this? Like, we'll have to see. Like, um, it's... We will We will have to see. Uh, this is looking, you know, the... the I think the, the 01 and 13 are, are looking very strong. Willie itself is looking strong. We'll have to see the rest of Blue's reveal, the Angel reveals, to see how that's going to be. But in the meantime, let's just enjoy mm-hmm. what we've seen so I'm far. I'm excited to see what the Kawaru next yes. does. Uh, let's enjoy what, what we've seen so far and just have just just have fun with it. And when the rest of the stuff is revealed, we'll drop another video. I can't wait to do the uh, proxy plays with these. I can't wait to build it. I, 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 I'm, I'm just seeing the first reveals for mm-hmm. this. It's, it's getting me excited. Yeah. They went. Ha- it feels like they went hard on this collaboration set. Like they went oh, hard yeah. on it, making things powerful, making things cohesive. The reveals have they, been have made sense. They 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 made up for what they did in set four because they're making it at the power level of set four in a way. Mm-hmm. Because let's face it, Hydra is going to be the most played deck since till set five. Yeah, and. They needed something to be on par with yes, that. Yes, it had to be on par with it. And then in set five, we get Astrals. And then we so, get Astrals, which is going to be the next the next step up. Metal, so. metal level mm-hmm. deck, decks. So this is going to help probably balance yeah, out. Yeah, bridge that gap and everything. For what we see. Because mm-hmm. now Hydra ha- has to worry about, okay, if I mill something, they're going to be- benefit off they're of gonna this. They're going to benefit, yeah. No matter what. So... And also Ira, well, you can wipe everything but this guy, you know, um, it, purple, your curse doesn't work against my dudes, you know, so the Eva decks on their own, I, I just excited to see how they're going to work A, on their own and B, in conjunction with the cards that we already have to see how it evolves the meta. Yeah, I, I'm excited be, to see it mm-hmm. because at when the set drops, I think we still have some grand tours left. Or if anything, we have Pro Tours coming up mm-hmm. after that. I want to see how that pars up with the meta so yep. far. Because right now, how I was looking at the top two decks right now is Ira and Hydra. Mm-hmm. And then you got the little miscellaneous like Tiger and uh, uh, White Control. And you have We've Smash got quite a few decks in... In purple. like in contention for being you know like tier one, I don't think there's a, a, a serious I'm, tier zero. I'm more like, I'm I'm more thinking of the most popular, bro- most yeah, popular, popular, most brought to understood, the events. Understood. I want this to balance it out. We'll see. We'll have to see. At the very least, it's gonna make uh, Hydra kill your bur- board go burr harder. 
simply because of AT field. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the purple reveals for the Eva CBO one. We again, we'll come back with when the rest of the cards are revealed. Until then, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out a bunch. And hit have, that bell icon. Hit the bell icon. But for now, have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.